we want Labor to wake up to the fact that this housing crisis is breaking people, like really breaking people. We've got skyrocketing rents and house prices and mortgages, and the only bill Labor have bowled up this year to deal with the housing crisis is actually going to drive up house prices for 99.8% of renters. So all we've said to them is, look, these are the three key areas, the massive tax handouts, denying millions of renters the chance to buy a home, capping rent increases and building public housing. Now, we don't want all of it, but we'd like movement in these areas to make sure that we actually start to deal with the housing crisis. OK, so which of those demands could be sacrificed? Would you relent on cap gains negative gearing? Well, look, we're willing to negotiate, of course. I'm not going to spill the beans on all of our negotiating positions here, but the bottom line is, right now, uh, on capital gains, tax discounts and negative gearing, it is denying millions of renters the chance to buy a home because an investor gets to go to an auction uh, with tax handouts in their pocket from this Labor government and beat out a first home buyer and drive up the price of housing. And that actually is unsustainable. You've seen the New South Wales Productivity Commission say Sydney could become a city without grandchildren because of the scale of the housing crisis. But there are far more of, of those people than uh, there would be coming in through a help to buy scheme mm. in this country. Every little bit helps, doesn't it? If you're outside of the market, sure, competing against investors, as you point out, but you'd be denying that, them any benefit through shared equity if you blocked it. No. So what we know actually is this scheme will drive up house prices for the um, super majority of renters, 99.8% every year, because mainstream economists have pointed out that where you put more money in people's pockets to bid up the price of housing, well, that's exactly what they'll do. And this is what this scheme will do. Similar to the first home buyers grant and things like that, it's never actually solved housing affordability crisis. What it's done is drive up the price of housing. Now, when house prices are already skyrocketing and first home buyers are already losing to investors and giving up on ever being able to buy a home, that seems like a poor solution to a housing crisis. Now, you went through all of this, Max, with the Housing Australia Future Fund, and ultimately there was an accommodation, but not before the government held over the Senate's head the threat of a double dissolution mm -hmm. election. Would you be prepared to give them that trigger on help to buy? Well, last year we stared the government down and got $3 billion of investment in public housing that the government didn't want to put up when this, those negotiations started. And similarly, we're willing to push uh, as long as it takes to get real outcomes out of this government on the housing crisis. And really, that's a question for the government. Like, are they really going to come to the electorate this year and say their one solution to the housing crisis is a bill that will drive up house prices while refusing to touch the tax handouts for big investors that are denied millions of renters the chance to buy a home? Well, through the messaging that we in the media receive, mm. the answer to that question uh, would be yes. They say they're not for further compromise, perhaps informed by their experience with Housing Australia Future Fund, who knows? But certainly they're indicating it is not their intention to negotiate on this. That does put us back in the territory where it's at least once refused by the Senate, isn't it? Look, this is what they said last year all the time on the Housing Australia Future Fund, and then all of a sudden when they realised the Greens were right, things shifted and we got $3 billion of investment in public housing. I mean, I think it would, it would be silly of the government to behave in a way, in an intransigent way, in the sort of way they accused the Scott Morrison government of behaving, which is basically their way or the highway. They didn't win a majority in the Senate, uh, and I would be... Uh, disappointed if they went down the Morrison route of just trying to ram everything through without negotiating in good faith, especially when it comes to a housing crisis that is seeing single mothers evicted onto the street because they can't afford rent increases, middle income workers giving up on ever being able to buy a home and sometimes living with their parents into their 30s and the parents of those renters terrified that their children will never get financial security. Authorised by Jay McCall, Australian Greens, Canberra.